Where we left off last time was our monkey being able to shoot left and right. And everything else in the game seems to be working so far the way it should. So what we're going to do in the next few videos is just tidy this game up a little bit so that it starts to act a little bit more like a game. You can see that as I move around I can shoot, but the bullets really have no effect on anything. The bullets go through the platforms, the tiles, they go through the robots. So what we need to do is somehow manage to figure out how to get those bullets to actually hit a robot and then kill the robot. We also have to think about what happens when our monkey hits a robot, because in this case all that happens is the robot pushes the monkey or the monkey tries to push the robot. So we need to work out whether the monkey needs to die, lose a life, reset to a position, respawn, or end the game. So we've got a few things that we need to do. Let's get back to our code. And if you watched the last video, you should recognize this code. It takes care of the shooting left and right, depending on the animations. It takes care of the shooting if our monkey is standing. And also takes care of being able to just shoot thousands of bullets with one space bar with that. 0.5 second delay. So we've got the shooting kind of where we want it right now. Now let's think about the robot itself. How do we kill the robot? Now let's have a look at the robot code. This goes back a few videos as well. And this is a very simple left and right movement. If you remember we used these special tiles to tell the robots when to go left and right. Now what we need to do is figure out how to get a robot to die if a bullet hits the robot. Now before we go into any code about shooting and hitting robots, I think this would be a good time to talk about groups. So let's go to our monkey, click on that button properties there, robot, properties and enemy bullet, which already has the properties there. You've got the name of your actor, which you can change. You've got the properties over here with a description. And then down here, we've got this thing that says choose group. And most people kind of ignore this until, of course, there's a problem. So in this case, our bullet is a player. If we go to our robot, it's in a group called actors. And the test monkey is in a group called actors. Now, this doesn't actually mean anything until you press on edit groups. So let's just memorize that. The enemy bullet is a player and the robot one and the monkey are actors. So let's go to edit groups and just see what we're dealing with. So let's go to what the robot and the monkey are, which is an actor. And in this case, what it says, an actor is allowed to collide. That means hit a tile. Now the tiles are our floor and our platforms. And actors are allowed to collide with other actors. So what that means is the monkey is allowed to collide, is allowed to hit a robot. Now, if we go down here to where it says players, players in this case can hit other players, but it does not, or a player does not collide with any tiles or any actors. Now, let's just go and test that out again. So if we go back to our game, which is already loaded, our monkey is an actor and our robot is an actor. Now, in this case, an actor can collide with an actor. So you can see that when my monkey touches a robot, the robot and the monkey collide with each other. They don't just go through each other. But on the other hand, our bullet is in that group called players and players don't collide with any actors, which is why when I shoot, that bullet just goes through the robot. Also, if you remember in the groups, players don't collide with tiles. So let's just for fun, let's go and fix that right now. So I'm going to go to players and remember the bullet is in the players group. And I'm going to say, you now collide with tiles. I'm going to press OK to that. And we're just going to test the game again. And let's see what happens if we now tell the bullets, that's the players group, that you now have to collide or hit tiles. So let's see what's going to happen. So here we have it. Let's have a look now. So, yep, still our, our bullet still misses the robot, or should I say it goes through the robot. But now let's see what happens. Oh yeah, did you see that? So now when we shoot and the bullet hits a tile, it just bounces off it because we've now written in that there is a collision with the tiles. So let's go back to our groups. And if you remember, our bullet is in that players group. And what I'm going to do now is switch on a collision with an actor. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to test the game now. And 
although this kind of seems logical, the result of this is going to be something really unexpected and actually had me confused for a good few hours and I couldn't figure out what went wrong. So what's going to happen now is when I shoot left, the bullet just acts like normal. When I shoot right, I don't know if you can see that, the, the bullet obviously isn't going right, but it's also pushing the monkey a little bit. So I'll just show you that again. So as I shoot, you can see the monkey just gets pushed. Now what's happening here, if we go back to our groups, we've told our group players, which the bullet is in, to hit and collide with actors. Now what that means is, as the bullet comes out of the monkey and tries to go right, the monkey itself is blocking the bullet. So the bullet doesn't go to the right, it kind of hits the monkey on the back of the head and just kind of stands still. And this is obviously a real problem. So what we'll do is we'll just switch off that one there, press OK and test our game again. We're going to come back to groups because what we're going to do now is figure out how to destroy robots using bullets. And of course, the groups are really important here because we want the bullets and the robots to touch each other collide and actually the robots to be destroyed. So let's just check where we are right now. So yeah, we're back to where we were. So the bullets go through the tiles, they go through the robots. So nothing's really happening. So in the next video, we're going to deal with the code that destroys the robots and even has a cool animation. So I'll see you in the next video.